Uh, hello everyone. In this video I'm going to go over the uh, oscilloscope that I picked up. It's got to be four or five years ago now. <clears throat> and I uh, got it at a um, surplus, uh, local electronic surplus place. And um, <laughs> it worked perfect right out of the gate. Um, and so it's a 54502A HP um, digitizing oscilloscope. And I will show you that in just a moment. Um, so this is it. And the reason I'm doing this is because there's very little up there on the internet or on YouTube about these scopes. There's a gentleman on eBay. Um, he goes by the eBay um, seller ID. I think it's W-A-T-R-O-N-I-C-S. So Watronics. And he is a former HP um, engineer who used to work on these and actually helped design this and this whole line of scopes. And he's got a lot of detail on the different scopes and what they do and all that stuff and um, sells parts and does refurbs on them. <clears throat> and um, I was always curious about this scope. Here, I'm going to turn it on. Because it actually has in the back, right back here, right here, what's called an HPIB port, which is an RS, I don't remember the, I don't remember the number, it's like a 432 or 422, um, it's not 232, it's, it's the industrial IEEE standard port, and um, that can communicate with, uh, I think like data loggers and uh, things like that, but one of the most interesting things it can do is it can talk to a plotter. And that leads me to the second part of this video, which is that I picked up this guy just recently, about a week ago. And this is a HP 7550A plotter. And um, I'm playing with this a lot. I'll do a bunch of videos on this by itself. This thing is rather large. It's about, oh, I'd say two feet by 18 inches. That's a standard eight and a half by 11 sheet on top of it. Um, and you can see I've been plotting the output of the scope and I'm going to go through and show you how that works. So um, I do have this plotter. The reason I bought it is it has the HPIB and then it also has next to it serial and then also a terminal port. So if you had a standard like VT100 port terminal, um, you could probably plug that in there via serial connection and send commands, HPGL commands directly to this and actually do some HPGL style programming with this. Um, I've noticed that there's not much HPGL information on, online either, which like I said, I'll get into that in another video. But um, for this video, I just want to show you how this works. So on this plot, this, I'm sorry, the oscilloscope, <clears throat> you can see I'm just, I've got a waveform there and all that is, that's just noise. So I've got my probe, literally going to one of the strings on my guitar. So what I'm picking up is like over here I've got a little fluorescent, compact fluorescent and some LED monitors and different things going. So that's just picking up AC noise in the air. But it's a good enough waveform to plot. So um, I figured we'd use that to show you. So what you do is on this oscilloscope we can go in here in utilities and then the HPIB menu and then there's two selections. I don't think you can see it, but it says talk only and addressed. And the only way to get this to plot, I just found out, is you have to use talk only. And then you select the plotter you're using, your media size, and then plot. Okay, so talk only. And then you go, let me turn this back to show the waveform. And then you go over to your plotter. I gotta turn this on and load paper. So it's gonna get loud. The fans in this are bad. I need to replace them, but. Water works fine. I don't have any paper left. No, I need to find some paper too. I uh, should have thought about that before I started recording. Anyway, um, bear with me here. So the plotter has to be in a listen mode. So to do that, I will show you the menu in one second. I'm still getting that paper. Um, first things first, let's load this plotter up with a piece of paper. 
Sorry, I'm taking a minute here. Should have, like I said, should have thought this out a little bit before I started recording. So, loading in. Getting just past the rollers. Up against the edge. And hit load, unload. Sense the edge of the paper and it's all set. Alright, and what you do to go into the sub menus in this, it might be hard to see this menu, but you hold enter and push next display. And you can see it goes into HPIB, and then there's monitor, and then standard mode and serial. These are all the different things you can configure. Right now we're just curious about HPIB. So we're gonna hit that. And you can see I've got it in listen only mode. You can toggle through, there's over, I think there's 30 addresses you can use, and then it goes to listen only. So you, when you hit your mode you want, you hit enter, and that accepts it into the, the um, settings, and then you're all set. To get back out, just hit enter in this again, it comes back to the main screen. So we are all ready to plot. I've got, uh, let's see, how many pulp pens in there? We've got five pens loaded. I skipped position three. I um, had to do a little bit of um, trial and error, and it wants to use position 6 for the text. You'll see here, find one of these. So, for the text up above, and this text here, it wants to use the pen 6. And I think it uses pen 1 and 2 for the waveform and then everything else. So, that's why you see I took pen 3 out and put it in slot 6, because I only have 5 pens. So, close this up. So we cycle back through, and we come over here. And to do a plot, you can either pick the waveform you want by saying "run stop" and stop it right on the form you want, or you can just grab it and say "hard copy" at any time. So I'm just going to hit "hard copy," and the plotter's going to start. It's all done. Hit load on load again, and it'll kick it out. And there's our plot. So, pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna turn the plotter off since it's so loud. Man, I need to replace that fan. But um, so yeah, I mean, I'm really impressed with the output. The uh, the line quality is just excellent. Text quality is really good. A little bit of, um, of uh, bleed. You can see where it held the pen there for a second. Same thing on channel, but I mean, for a, you know, this plotter is probably from 1985. And this is all they, all they had back then. They didn't have uh, laser and they didn't have PCL and they didn't have HBL, HPGL2 yet. 
So um, this is the only way you can get plots. Pretty cool stuff. So I think uh, I think I'm the only guy who's got anything about interfacing one of these scopes up there. So I thought that would be beneficial. So in order to do it, you need an HP IB cable. You need a plotter. I picked up this plotter. Believe it or not, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks on eBay from another uh, surplus reseller. I paid more for shipping. I paid like fifty bucks for shipping because it weighs about fifty pounds. But um, from everything I've seen online, these things they basically never go bad. Um, you know, the pens dry out and stuff, which you can actually buy the pens um, even now. Got this off of Amazon. No, not Amazon. Um, Drafting Steels, and uh, these are Koinor Rapido Plot pens, and uh, twenty bucks for five pens, and they work great. Um, so anyway. That is that, and I will have more on hopefully on the plotter, and hopefully more on the oscilloscope also, in other videos. Take it easy, guys.